take the first step towards online privacy. Get NordVPN. The world's most advanced cold wallet for the new generation of cryptocurrency lovers. Descent. Descent. Right, so Tom, you and I were just talking. Uh, mm-hmm. What's going on with Ripple? Oh, uh, so I was asked. I, Ripple, I've always like said, this is a fucking central bank coin. Piss on it. It's like I don't care. And then I kept getting asked by my patrons, Tom, you really need to look into this SEC versus Ripple case. Blah blah blah. blah. There's something here there that I, we I, we can't wrap our brains around. I got this from half a dozen people. So when you get asked by half a dozen people to look into something, you're in ba- you're honor bound to do something about it. And not just you know flippantly blow them off. So I looked into it. I spent some time. They they gave me some good sources and people to watch on YouTube to get up to, to speed. And I did. I did, did two three days worth of of uh, of of, uh, of DD on this and conversation with them back and forth. And this is what I came to the conclusion of. Go look at the World Economic Forum and their list of cryptocurrencies that they like. And Ripple's one of them. But this is well known. This is nothing new. So is Ethereum and a few others. Now ask yourself about Jay Clayton. Now, your Ripple maxis that are out there, like there's a guy, digital asset investor on, on YouTube who does stuff every day. And he's really quite good, but his thesis is wrong. I, after watching him for about three hours, I, I started screaming at my, my television set or my monitor because he was missing the crucial piece, which is that Jay Clayton and JP Morgan and whatnot aren't trying to destroy Ripple because they want to replace, don't just want to replace it with their stuff. Right. They don't want to replace Ripple. They've got a competing product. And that's why this it's because JP Morgan and the Fed and everybody else are looking to create a separate Swift replacement, because that's what Ripple is, is a replacement for Swift. Because Swift is useless now. They've destroyed it and they've kind of purposefully destroyed it with the sanctions on Russia. But Davos clearly wants to replace Ripple with our Swift with Ripple. The Ripple maxis all think that because there's a static supply of Ripple, it's like the new version. It's like the new improved Bitcoin. And it's the thing that's going to save us from the bad guys at the Fed and the SEC. They don't see the functional split that I see because they don't have this information because, frankly, well, they don't have it. I'll I'll be generous. Okay, I'm not going to be called them idiots or morons or anything else because they don't get it. Okay, have they sat down to talk with me? I would clearly disabuse them of all these notions immediately. And then they would have to spend a lot of time reorienting themselves and going through a complete mimetic collapse of the world they think they thought they knew is not the world that they live in. Okay. So my conclusion on Ripple is very simple. Jay Clayton on his way out the door in December of 2020 as a last act, as his last act as SEC chairman, opened up this case against Ripple. And at the same time, by the way, remember, he went after the privacy coins as well and taking Dash and Monero and some of the others off the, the exchanges here in the United States. And just, you know, in the same kind of way that the that the oil traders, um, you know, after the first round of sanctions, didn't know what to do with Russian oil, so they just stopped trading it completely, right? Same kind of thing. Shock and all. We, we don't know if we're going to get run afoul of these new rules that, you know, are frankly idiotic and tyrannical and everything else. But they just said, okay, you know, err on the side of caution. Better to ask. You know, better to, to 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 shoot first and ask questions later, and to get permission later, and that's exactly what the SEC wanted. But they did this on purpose, and and I think honestly, the attack on the privacy coins was meant as a smokescreen. Now I think about it, about the argument again, uh, the 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 real target here was Ripple, because it is my theory, as you well know, that I think that the Federal Reserve and forces within Wall Street are actively working to preserve commercial banking. At the expense of the commies at the World Economic Forum who want to do away with commercial banking, roll all of us up onto central bank digital currencies, do away with the need for private banking, and then put all of us on a distributed ledger, open blockchain that they can have complete and they have complete uh, transactional records of everything we ever did. And Ripple is the main mechanism by which to do that. So, what did Clayton do? On his way out the door, Finally, we watched a Republican leave office, leaving the Democrats a poison pill that they had to swallow. Gensler was, oh, they knew Gensler, that Biden was going to bring Gensler or somebody like Gensler in to run the SEC. And Gensler's job is to run interference against Bitcoin because they hate Bitcoin. 
with a purple passion. They want Ripple and Ethereum. They want shitbag piece of um, 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 proof of stake, Ethereum, on top of running all the, their new financial system on top of Ripple. That's what they want. So Ripple to me is a poison pill. The Ripple lawsuit is a poison pill against uh, by the left by Clayton and J.P. Morgan, and I think the Federal Reserve to you know force. Um, Gensler at the, C, at the SEC to deal with it. How does he deal with it? So he wants to call it a secure. What's the, what's the lawsuit about? It's about selling unregistered securities. Well, in order to get out of this, if you make Ripple a security, it can't become Davos's SWIFT replacement. It has to be labeled currency or something or some other new category. It can't be a security. Okay? Because it's a token that's used to liquefy the whole new financial system. It's clearly not a security. Two weeks ago, the CFTC came out and labeled Ripple a freaking currency. It's right there. The setup for them to issue some kind of face-saving you know, um, judgment where the, the, where the SEC gives up on their labeling Ripple a security has to happen. Although they'll, you know, they'll they'll create some face saving thing where Ripple Labs will have to pay them ten million dollars or some, some whatever, some 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 nominal thing, and that'll happen. And then Ripple's going to explode to the upside because that's exactly what Davos wants after they've driven the price down to forty one cents. But the upshoot is that they're going to get what they want, but that also is going to translate across the rest of the crypto space. And it's going to make it much, much harder for Gensler et al. to continue to call to tax Bitcoin as a commodity, especially when there's multiple countries out there now using it as legal tender. And it's far closer in reality to a foreign to currency because there's literal countries using it as a currency. And you can't tax foreign currency. But yet we're doing it, and we're all reporting this crap on our friggin' taxes. This onerous crypto re- tax reporting that they've set up. It's all Davos, done on purpose. They now trap everybody at 30000 who's bought at sixty five, and we're not allowed to write our, 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 our capital gains losses off, or no more than 2000 a year. Oh, by the way, here in the United States. And you can write them off in perpetuity, $2,000 a year, but no more than $2,000 capital loss. I think that's what that I'm not even sure if, if the tax law is right on, on crypto or not. It's like you're only on to, you know, to write so much of your, your losses down. You're screwed otherwise. You can just lay them off. So you can see the, the setup here. It's very clear. And JP Morgan with their consensus swift replacement and the fact that Wall Street is putting money left and right into Bitcoin mining companies all around this country, co-located with natural gas generators and nuclear power plants and all the rest of it. Wall Street's all in on Bitcoin. But Davos isn't. Davos wants Ripple and Ethereum, Solana, all the other, frankly, shitbag DeFi platforms. What we want is hard currency. What we want is a return to a foundational asset that's a hard asset. Bitcoin's a hard asset. Ripple is not. So that's my take on this. This is what I think is happening. And I expect before the end of the year, and if you watch the Ripple Maxi guys, you know, on YouTube, and they're all talking about, and they all think that the that the SEC is going to have to lose here in order, and, and that's going to open Ripple up, and it's going to be a great day for all of us. It's going to be a day, great day for freedom. No, they're going to do. They're going to settle the case out of court in order to advance Ripple to enslave you all, you fucking morons. Because you don't understand the enemy you're actually fighting. You don't understand the war you're actually in. You don't understand the parameters of the war you're actually in. This is the same problem that I have with Bitcoin maxis. They don't understand the parameters of the war they're actually in. And if they understood that, they wouldn't be Bitcoin maxis. I'm positioned. I'm, you know, I've been buying Ripple. And I fully expect, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to pay a premium for it or nothing, but you know, I get some money on the side. I'm like, yeah, I'll buy a little bit. This is the first time in my life. I, once, once I did all that, I'm like, I'm buying Ripple because, it, because Gensler is going to cry uncle here. And then Ripple's going to explode to the upside. 
it's going to be a 20 bagger. And of course, it's going to be a 20 bagger after they've destroyed Bitcoin. And you and I, before we hit record, we're talking about what's the technical position of the situation in Bitcoin. Well, here's the technical position for everybody. Ready? You better hope and pray that Bitcoin closes above 29.5 this month. Investing.com index monthly closing price. Go look it up. Go look at the chart. Go back to the 20, go back to the July and June 2021 lows. Those are what you're targeting. Because if you close below that, Bitcoin's going back to 20 in short order. Okay. And would that be in Gary Gensler's wheelhouse? Hmm. I wonder. I wonder if Klaus Schwab, Christine Lagarde, and all the other, all the rest of them would be happy about that. And then time that with Ripple going ballistic with the lifting of the SEC lawsuit and call and declaring it currency. You can't see the setup? I can. There's a 20 bagger laying on the table in front of you guys. Tom. If I'm wrong, it'll be a 10 bagger. <laughs> Tom, very, very interesting. Thank you so much. This is a little add-on video to the one we recorded that I posted a few days before this one goes out. And uh, people can find Tom. I'll have the links in the description below, tomluonga.me, and you can sign up for his Patreon newsletter and get this and more. Hold 12 on. 12 bucks a month, guys. 12 bucks. By the way, I gave this information out to my patrons three weeks ago. Yeah. All right. Tom, they've all been, and by the way, they've all been accumulating Ripple ever since. Okay. Yes. Oh. John, thank you so much. I'll talk to you guys thank later. You thank you. Bye-bye. Now, if you want to watch the whole conversation that I had with Tom Luongo, please go to my Odyssey channel, bit.ly slash crypto rich odyssey i'll have the link in the description below and in that video we talk about what's happening in europe and the us and russia plus tom gives his take on what's happening with bitcoin and how he sees that rolling out over the next few months thank you